I, I bought a dog. <laughs> I think it's important to have a dog. Because if you're taking a nap in the afternoon and a squirrel wanders <laughs> into your backyard, <laughs> you don't want to sleep through something like that. <laughs> oh, no. I was trying to kill a squirrel <laughs> in our backyard because he had rabies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and I'm chasing him all over the backyard. Just as I'm about to get him, he goes up a tree. Great. <laughs> so now the car's totaled. <laughs> The joke's on him, because <laughs> I have another car. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I have a bumper sticker, honk if you're rich. <laughs> and if someone behind me honks, I'll, I'll slam on the brakes. <laughs> If I get it started, <laughs> I phoned the mechanic. I said, my car starts, but it doesn't move. He said, check the tranny. <laughs> so I said to my brother, take off your dress and help me with this miserable thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> speaking of which, I dress my dog in panties and a bra. <laughs> Because he's too puny to scare the burglars, so I'm thinking he could distract the ones who just got out of prison. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. My, my dog drinks from the toilet. <laughs> Does anybody have a dog that drinks from the toilet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, it tickles when you're reading the paper, you know. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't easy getting a dog, because I had a dog when I was a kid, and when he died, I was so heartbroken, I thought, I'll freeze him until someday science can bring him back to life. Um, so I put him in foil, and I, st I stuck him in the refrigerator next to the ice cream. In retrospect, I should have marked it. Because <laughs> my dad, who's already angry at me for switching his suppositories with raspberry fizzies, <laughs> I thought it was clever, too, anyway. He says, you buried this dog. So the next day, I'm digging a hole in the backyard, and I get a phone call. So I throw the dog down, and I go into the house, and the man on the phone says, what radio station do you listen to? <laughs> I, I said, country music 101 FM super jackpot at the end of the rainbow is going to make me rich. He said, this is your neighbor. Turn it down, you little retard. Uh, uh, no. Uh, that's not it. Anyway, I go back to the dog. I had thrown the dog on the end of the shovel handle. When I came back, I accidentally stepped on the blade of the shovel, which catapults the dog over the fence into the street just as a guy in a Mercedes comes and knocks him 50 feet. And I come out, the guy said, I swear I didn't see him. And he gives me $20 and drives off. At that moment, an entrepreneur was born. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, <laughs> I, I made $80 that day, you know, uh, thanks to my mother's sewing kit.
which, which also backfired because one guy said, oh, no wonder your dog ran out in front of my car with buttons for eyes. Uh, he said, I want to see your parents. I said, I'll need a bigger shovel. <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening. Good night.